Uh, today I'm gonna talk about uh, SEO problems and Joomla 1.5. Uh, there were a, a lot of problems with SEO in the past, uh, especially with the version 1.0. We had like an awful component for Joomla called Open SEF that was causing so much uh, problems. It was like generating three different URLs for one menu item and stuff like that. Uh, the pages didn't open up. Uh, if you click to open one page, another page open up and stuff like that. It was horrible. And then like another component appeared called SH404. It was, it's made uh, by a French guy. Uh, uh, Shumisha, uh, I don't know how, how his name is spelled uh, and pronounced, and but this is his site extensions.siliana.com and you have like a forum uh, and you can also download his component here but I'm gonna just show you where you can uh, download it Oh, all you need to do is go to the SH404SEF and click on download and then download uh, SH this one this is for the Joomla 1.5 and this is uh, for Joomla 1 so you have to download this uh, the latest version is 1.07 I also have this one just installed. Uh, so just download it and I'm going to show you how to install it. Uh, go to my website or your website, not mine, and click on administrator. Uh, and click admin and your password and log in. Uh, you don't you don't need to alter uh, uh, HD access uh, file on your server. Let me show you which one is that. I cannot go to my desktop. Uh, uh, uh. Mm -mm. Oh, for example, I'm gonna show you another website mm -mm. I'm just gonna show you what sh what the HD access is mm -hmm. HD access is this file it's called dot HD access I'm gonna just open it up and this is for another website it's, it's not built in Joomla uh, but here you, you write some code you do like uh, you can do like free or one rewrite. You can do like www to non www domain rewrite. That's very important if you want to have like a SEO compatible website. Let's just close this down for now. We don't need it. And let's go back to administration. Login. Come on, come on, come on. And let's go to extensions and install and uninstall and just browse and select the file and I have it um, sh wait where are my files okay it's here it come this is the latest version 1.07 just select it and just click upload file and install and after that uh, you will get like a notification that install successful and you can go to component and sh404 scf i claim that this is the best uh, SSA component for joomla it still has some flaws but uh, major bugs are fixed so you should be okay with it don't try anything else like uh, open sef uh, that also like uh, turn back back from the dead 
somebody else is dev is continuing the de development so i don't recommend to use that and we're gonna here is the here's the trick uh first of all you can switch from the uh, easier from the normal to extended display so always click on it here if you have only five uh, menu icons now we are in the, in the extended display and let's go let's let's just let's just uh, check some things when you update from uh, like a previous version to the new version of s of sh uh, 404 you don't need everything uh, is stored from the old version so you just leave it uh, alone you don't have to go to the admin and check and uncheck and change things uh, everything stays in the in the database so that's that's really good so first of all you can enable here and then uh, here are some replacement characters page spacer characters uh, uh, what else here is this is important use style alias if you want to use uh, when you type a uh, article you have uh, like uh, title and alias and you can set here which one sh404 will use for the url if you want a different url than the page title this is the thing to do it to set it to title alias and you can uh, he set here the extensions uh, this now it's set to dot html you can set it to dot htm or i think it, it you can set it to dot php also but i'm not sure uh on lower cases yes so in urls you're not gonna have like uh uh all the letters are gonna be in lower case uh, okay this is it plugins this is important I suggest that you don't show section in category in the URLs so you set it to no because uh, you might have like a two URLs for the same article one without the section and one with the section 